Today, let's solve this cubic equation. We have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8 equals 0. And you will see something really interesting about this equation. Have a look. First, notice that we have four terms. So maybe you want to try to factor this by grouping. Well, if you just try the first two terms and factor out x squared and get x minus 6, and then the last two terms, factor our plus 4 and get 3x minus 2. Uh, I don't think we can proceed, right? Because this and that, they are different. But don't worry. In fact, we can still factor this. It's just not that kind of grouping. Have a look. Here we have negative 6 and 12. We can factor out 6. That's pretty good, right? So let's try to put these two together. That's that all. Let's put x cubed minus a together yeah and then of course this right here and try factor by grouping again this time we factor x cubed minus 8 and to do so let me remind you guys the formula on the side this is the difference of two cubes formula so we use this formula a cubed minus b cubed equals parentheses a minus b times a squared minus a sorry plus a times b and then plus b squared minus minus plus and the last term is always plus so by looking at x cube minus 2 cube we can factor by using using this formula and we can get x minus 2 times a squared, which is x squared now, and then plus x times 2. So it's 2x, because we look at the 8 as 2 cubes. Yeah? And then lastly, we do b squared, so 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so plus 4. So we factor this, we get that. Now, for the last two terms, notice here we have a minus. So let's put on the minus in between right away. Yeah? And then we see that we have 6x squared plus 12x. So for the number, we can factor out a 6. And then for the variable, we can factor out an x, huh? just like that. Then we see, take this originally, right? We have negative 6x squared divided by negative 6. We will get just an x. Originally, we have 12x divided by negative 6. 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. x is out right here already. Yeah, so this part is the factoring for the second part. Yeah. Now what though? Well, notice that x minus 2, x minus 2 is in common, so we can factor that out and just put it down one time. And then right here, we can just put x squared plus 2x plus 4 minus 6x yeah and then we see we can combine this and that together so x minus 2 x squared that is minus 4x and then plus 4 is equal to 0 in fact this right here is factorable if you factor it you get x minus 2 x minus 2 so this is x minus 2 and this gives us x minus 2 squared. So in fact, we have x minus 2 cubed. This right here is equal to 0. So the only way for this is equal to 0 is for the inside equal to 0. So that means x minus 2 is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 2. And for this equation, 2 is the only real solution, but we say this right here, it happens three times. And the technical term for that is the multiplicity is equal to 3. Yeah, multiplicity is equal to 3, meaning you have x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2. Yeah. So this equation is very different compared to x cubed minus 8 is equal to 0 because this equation it has a 
real solution to, but it has two more complex solutions. And if you want to see how to solve this equation, you can check out my other video for it. The link to this video will be in the description. And for now, 